Hey Broker Nation, in this episode, Jules was on a mission to build a killer relationship with her lender partners. Our office is based in Kelowna and most of our lenders are based in Vancouver. So we talk to them on a daily basis via email and phone, but rarely, unless we take the time to go down there, do we ever meet our lenders in person. This was Jules' idea, not mine. She wanted to take her team down to introduce them to her lender partners, and I thought this was a fantastic idea. It was a great opportunity for Mike and Ellie to meet the lenders that they'll be discussing files with and working with as well. Face-to-face -face meetings is so important because you get to know people and you build your relationship. So it goes beyond just, hi, how are you? You can actually sit down and have a conversation and get to know that person. For me, the ability to work with someone on a, when you know them face-to-face, -face, your efficiency goes up, your creativity goes up, and your, your ability to work sort of through difficult situations has just improved greatly. It's harder for a lender to turn you down if they know who you are. And, and if it's just a face, sorry, if it's just a person on the phone and you have and talk to them before, it's a little easier to say, ah, no, we're not going to push on this deal. But um, by knowing them and getting to know them better, I think it's, it, they're going to make every effort they can to try and make that deal work. And if they can't, then you know they can't. It's kind of just for us to know how to present a file to you so it's really simple and easy for you to underwrite. Like, sure. what are the important things that we need to know? It's really important to build that relationship with them. They get hundreds of files every day, and if you don't take the time to do that, you're just another number on their pile of things to do. And I feel that it gives you the opportunity to get a little extra help from them if you need it. Those are probably the most important meetings a broker can um, have, because the lender, without the lender, we don't have a business. and. Um, Getting to know your lender and understanding what they need, what their needs are, uh, makes your job so much easier as a broker because you understand that particular lender and you know the little nuances that are required for that deal. Anyway, it's just one of those uh, kind of things and we just put the announcement out there yesterday. Okay. It's amazing the feedback you get um, and how the interactions change between people once they've met face to face or even quite honestly over FaceTime. So um, from our perspective, that's a building block of, of, of this business. You know, I'm here to help, to help a broker, to help Jules navigate First National. But more importantly, my ultimate goal is to help Jules grow her business. This is still a relationship business. Even though recently we've had guideline changes, it's gotten more complicated to get deals done, at the end of the day, if you have a relationship with that person on the other end of the phone, it means you're gonna get more yeses, and more yeses means more files approved and more happy clients. It's human nature. I like Jules, Jules is a good person, Jules probably attracts good people, therefore Jules' clients are good people, right? You know, like it's a, it's a, For sure. you know, it's a roundabout. And that to me is what getting together with brokers is all about, is being able, especially on the sales side, to say to an underwriter, Listen, I've met them, I've sat down with them, like, like they're good people, right? It just makes working with them so much more fun. You know someone, you know what they're like, you know what their quirks are, and uh, you can just have more fun doing your job. Another one of the goals of this trip was to have Jules invest in her team. By taking them down there and introducing them to their lenders, she said to her team that, hey, you matter, and this relationship matters, and if we work together, we're, it's gonna be better for everybody. For Ellie, she wants to be a mortgage broker one day and so right now I'm trying to teach her everything I possibly can about the business and I think it was a great opportunity for her to come down and see what it's like, what our lenders do and what these meetings are all about. It was a little overwhelming. Um, I kind of just sat there a little bit and you know took it all in as a learning experience and hopefully it'll start to make sense in a, a little while. You can upload you know, nine or ten pages of the income and just say full income, right? Mm -hmm. Title it and then it's off. When we sit in our meetings, we usually talk about, you know, mortgage specific terminology and files and things like that. And of course, most of it is over her head at this point. So I think that was a bit overwhelming for her, but I think she really enjoyed the, you know, the experience of getting to know the lenders and being a part of it. By Jules introducing her team to her lenders, she was able to transfer the trust that she had built to them. And that way, if a lender calls and they talk to Mike, they're like, oh, I know you, Mike. So it makes it much easier for them. 
Jules, uh, she's really uh, has a positive attitude. Um, she's scared, which means it's real to her. Uh, so she's trying, uh, gonna try and, and work hard. And um, and she believe, but deep down, I think she believes in herself, and I think that's really the key. And and uh, she has the right people around her who are gonna help her uh, make that happen. Three takeaways from this episode. First, relationships still matter. Even though guidelines have changed, it's gotten a little bit more difficult to get approvals. At the end of the day, there's someone on the other end of that phone and if they know who you are and they like you, you're gonna get more yeses. Second, the question that Jules asked, how can I make your job easier, is a fantastic question. You should ask that of your lenders, of your lawyers, of your appraisers. It'll make your working relationship better. It'll mean you'll get more deals approved and you're gonna have happier customers. And finally, invest in your team. If you have an assistant, don't leave them in their office and don't let them meet anyone. Take them out, introduce them to the people that make the job work, and I'm telling you, it's gonna be a lot more fun and you're gonna get a lot more business done. Hey, I just shot a quick little video for you guys on goal setting. You can follow the link below. It's some of the content from our $25 million blueprint. I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching.